The Korean government and U.S. private equity firm Lone Star are heading to court in Washington, and billions of dollars are at stake. Our Shin Se-min gives us the details. A 10-day hearing begins this week into a multi-billion dollar lawsuit brought by U.S. private equity firm Lone Star Funds against the Korean government. Lone Star is demanding 4.7 billion U.S. dollars in damages. The roots of the case go all the way back to 2003, when the Texas-based firm bought a stake in Korea Exchange Bank for $1.2 billion. Lone Star is demanding the damages for lost profits and tax disputes, claiming it was forced to sell its stake for a much lower price in 2012 to Hana Financial Group because the Korean government dragged its feet approving the deal. Lone Star is also demanding the Korean government reimburse it for taxes paid on the proceeds of the asset sale. It says that as its subsidiaries based in Belgium and Luxembourg handle the transaction, it should be exempt from taxes under investment treaties Seoul has with the EU member nations. The Korean government says those subsidiaries are merely paper companies and therefore should not be protected by the contract. The case is being closely watched as a verdict in favor of Lone Star could prompt foreign firms to launch similar suits. A Korean interagency team composed of around 10 officials is currently in Washington ahead of the first day of the hearing on Friday. Shin Se-min, Arirang News.